न्यू क्लास ई एम पी क्रड ऑपरेशन कंट्रोलर एक्सटेंड दिस कंट्रोलर फ्रॉम डिस्पैच एक्शन एंड हियर द फर्स्ट पॉइंट यू शुड रिमेंबर यू शुड नॉट ओवर राइड एक्सिक्यूट एंड डिस्पैच मेथड एक्सिक्यूट डिस्पैच मेथड यू शुड नॉट ओवर राइड देन हियर दियर यू शुड रिमेंबर वॉट वी शुड नॉट ओवर राइड we should not override execute and dispatch methods then one more point we have to write custom methods we have to write custom methods signature should be signature of method should equal to execute method means whatever the method you are going to write that method parameters must need to be execute method parameters and the next written type also written type also should be same signature of method and written value written type should equal to your execute method Which one? Sir, if uh, all the pro prototype must be same, then it will be overridden. Huh? If prototype is same, then uh, it will be overridden. Prototype? If any method has a pro uh, prototype same as a superclass, then it will be overridden. Overriding means? Signature plus written type. Name method name. so write here your custom methods write custom methods using execute method signature you should not override execute method first point you should not override execute method write methods by using your custom names yeah. and that custom names name of method should equal to button values okay so how many methods finally we we may need to write here one save and one update and one delete and one find and one find all Using same submit button values, we need to write. Okay, English button values I written fine. What about Hindi values? It is not possible. So only for English you can able to furnish methods here. For Hindi values you can't. Then write save operations here. What we should do? You need to read data from your employee object. <coughs> employee equal to employee of. Type cast your AF action form reference. In case of save operation. we required all the parameters id name email address in case if you don't want in case if you don't want id you can i mean you, you can do actual incrementation logic in the, inside do class primary key incrementations you can use in case if you don't want id from user or else you can save this employee object okay collect the data from this employee object send it to do class just write a do class here write a do class employee dao employee dao class in this dao class write public int save the method arguments input arguments int id string name string email string address to save and update for update return boolean value in 
in case of date this four parameters required and for doing delete one id is enough right delete boolean and to do select operation simple find operation using id by using simple student id find operation without any input all records okay now implement all these by using jdbc try catch exception okay try catch not required method itself it is throwing exception right so then write class dot for name load driver rkill dot jdbc dot rkill driver get connection connection con equal to driver manager dot get connection jdbc colon rkill colon thin colon at the rate localhost colon 1521 exe and username password system manager now connection dot prepare statement insert into employee values employee values id name email address finally it will return prepared statement in that prepared statement set your attributes prepared statement dot set int of argument 1 pass your id prepared statement dot set string argument 2 name email and address finally prepared statement dot execute update finally close your connection here under return that integer value fine save is fine then implement the remaining methods also in the same way for update just to change query here update table employee set name comma email comma address where id equals to now pass this parameter fourth argument is id first name second email third address fourth argument id final return boolean value which value we need to return if i not equal to 0 return true else return false so the same type of operation for delete for delete delete from employee where id equal to something just to set id here finally return to our false if you want to get records single user records write the same code select star from employee where id equal to pass that id value here finally call execute query 
it will return as result set from this result set get values and store into uh, execute query yeah if rs dot next if there is record store that record values into one list object a list l equal to new array list use here list dot add a result set dot get int of 1 l dot add of result set dot get string of 2 and 3 and 4 that's it finally written list value and finally we have one more method find all in case of find all condition is not required just select star from employee that's it now okay finally we should close connections right don't forget to close connections JVM is not responsible to close connections so we must responsible to close that connection here that's it now go to controller here in this controller if it is save operation what you should do we need to call employee DAO employee DAO save method pass ID from where you need to get ID from your bin e dot get id e dot get name from your bin get data get email e dot get address it will save your record finally return integer value from here you can return mapping dot am dot find forward of success page In case of update, do same operation. DAO update method. It will return boolean value, right? Boolean B. If boolean B equal to equal to true, return success. Else, return false. sorry fail <coughs> here also when we should return success if i not equal to 0 in case of else failure phase we need to return ok two controller methods fine the next method delete DAO delete method into delete method how many inputs we need to pass one single input one single input is enough here right actually here I taken multiple inputs these many inputs not required one single input is required so pass only ID by giving ID you can delete record finally find operation find operation will return list values find will return list value to iterate this list in front end use request to scope dot set attribute result result list object keep your list to reference here finally return am dot find forward of find page we need to return find page only one single student we need to return right in case of find all there also you need to return
you need to return list only just return same page in both cases we can do dynamic iterations or else you can return a find all page now provide mappings between your actions how many actions we have in this form one is employee cred form and the remaining are change language so two actions we have for two controllers this controller i mean this actions are for changing language and the above action is for doing cred operations so here configure first to front controller in your index dot xml file yeah web dot xml file configure in web dot xml file front controller open struts config dot xml file start mappings action mappings how many actions we have actions are two one is employee crud form in index dot jsp we have an action employee crud form employee crud form then next one more action is employee crud form and one is change language employee crud form action data need to store into a bean reference you have to pass a bean reference here so which bean reference we need to pass here create backup bean reference create here employee bean class name controller dot i created one bean class employee right so pass that employee reference here 